Okay, I really wanted to make this video just because I think I've put in way too many hours in this game. I'm pretty sure. Let's go to my uh, systems real quick. <laughs> yeah, I put in a, a lot of hours into this game, but not as much as other people kind of uh, have for the most part. <laughs> but I put in a lot of hours into this game, and uh, I kind of wanted to show it off for the bit because I've been enjoying this game a lot. Also, um, weirdly enough, thanks for the 100 plus subscribers. I really appreciate it. I keep on telling people, I don't know why a hundred people will be crazy enough to, you know, watch this channel, but pff, I appreciate it nonetheless. Um, basically, I just wanted to show off how much time I spent in this game and uh, what what kind of what I did and later on in the game and early in the game and later on in the game, mid game and things like that. I'm gonna kind of go over, you know, like my pathing of a lot of things and, you know, I explored a lot of this area as everyone usually does. Then I went into Kaelid a little bit. I ended up farming up here for a while until I got to like level 80. I finally went over here and beat General Rodan um, to get his honestly just amazing armor. Uh, it, honestly, it's just really cool. I was able to beat Rodan, and yes, I cheesed him because I'm not good at Souls games. Uh, but I cheesed him pretty well. Uh, you know, then I went ahead and went over here and beat um, this boss that's around this area. And then I was mostly just going straight up Oonga Boonga with probably my favorite sword in this game, which is, of course, the Bloodhound's Fang. I can't equip it right now, and I'll explain why. Or at least I can't use its ability. Oh, I guess I can, but not the full ability. Um, but basically, I went ahead and spec'd out of that. You can respec by beating a boss if you... If you go to a and there you go. If you go to a boss in this area, uh, you'll eventually have the ability to respec after getting a certain item for that boss, and you can change up everything. And I kind of wanted to go with my second favorite sword in the game because it is very helpful for farming and boss fights. And that is the Sword of Night and Flame, aka I want to be Goku because I'm I'm a weeb. Um, Basically, it's just a bunch of fun, and if you wanted to farm for some reason, you could just come up to this and go, Hey, guess what? And fire attack, and they're dead. Or you can come up to this guy and go, Hey, guess what? Kamehame Ha. It's a lot of fun, and I do enjoy it quite a lot. Uh, and if you can see from my stats, I am level 113. Yes. Um, and my faith, I decided to respec everything into faith, so it's at 76, so I can one-shot all these dudes to level up. It took me a while. Uh, in the beginning of the game, you meet this NPC that I did not like because he straight dissed me by saying I'm maidenless, and bro, you can't just do that. So I smoted him. Easily. He's kind of a dick. So, I ended up killing him, and I went, oh crap, apparently that's a bad idea if you want to get to this area early. So, I had to do it the hard way, which, well, was going through the entire game, fighting the bosses up here, going to here, going to the... For uh, the snow area, going to this boss battle here, the castle soul roof area, I had to go to this fight, and I had to beat it, and it was extremely hard because the boss summons things, and he honestly has really good but telegraphable attacks. So I beat him. It took a while. Uh, it was mostly due to rot breath and me just dodging and kamehameha hawing right at the appropriate time. But for the most part, just desolating the fool. So it's been a lot of fun. Um, doing that honestly i've been enjoying the crap out of this game so yes i have around seventy thousand to maybe at seventy one thousand hours into this um game definitely more than uh than what i thought i was going to be having um honestly it's been a lot of uh, a lot of fun uh, i have a lot of equipment through the entire gameplay most of the time i think 90 percent of the time it's been me discovering all this stuff i've been to youtube a few times for help because the community is very helpful in souls games and i really do appreciate um, uh, the people just kind of put that content out there, and a lot of them do spoiler-free content. I'm trying to not do too much spoilers here, but it is, uh, it's been pretty good, um, for the most part, and I've really just been enjoying fighting all these, uh, necessary bosses and stuff. Um, and, you know, once again, I really do appreciate, as well, you guys, uh, subscribing. It weird that I have 103 for a really crappy hobby that I started a couple years ago. Uh, it's, it's honestly not that much compared to what everything else but the fact that people are willing to at least subscribe and maybe watch this content has been very funny to me as a hobby as i've been trying to do of really crappy editing um 
but I've been enjoying this. <laughs> don't worry, I've been working out. I've been going to work. It's just whenever I get free time, I don't even play anything else anymore. It's only been Elden Ring. This is an amazing game, and it, it shows that I put a lot of hours into this. It's sure, I'm not having a lot of hours compared to the people that have like level 301 and they play it 24 7 without sleep, which is kind of disturbing. But you know, everyone teach their own. If you've got time for that, you've got time for that. So that's pretty much what it is. Uh, what this has been and once again I really appreciate you guys watching and I will see you next time.